This video is for my Nova Online Math 161 Pre-Calculus 1 students. Today we're going to start reviewing for Module 1 exam. So I have one question that we can look at today, and that is on finding the average rate of change. So let, let me read the question and I'll show you how to solve this problem. Find the average rate of change of the function on the given interval. f of x equals 2x cubed plus 1 on 1 to 3. So if you want to find the average rate of change, we're really looking for slope. Now remember the slope formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? So we subtract the y values, put it on top of the fraction. We subtract the x values and put it in the bottom of the fraction. Now when you look at the interval they gave us, 1 comma 3. These are two different x values, okay? These are both x values. Now, did they give us y values? They did not give us the y values just yet. So we have to first find the corresponding y values for 1 and 3, and so that we can actually use this slope formula to find the average rate of change, okay? So how do you find the y value when you know the x value, you're going to simply plug them in, right? So take a look. You're going to plug in 1 and 3 into the given function. So let me set these up. I'm going to find f of 1, which is 2 times 1 cubed plus 1. This comes out to be 2 plus 1, so we have 3. So when we plug in 1 into this function, we got 3 out. So I'm going to try to write this as an ordered pair, okay? So the first point we have is 1, 3. Let's now plug in the second value, 3, okay? I'm going to find f of 3. That will be 2 times 3 cubed plus 1. And that is 2 times 20. Oh dear, it got pretty big. 2 times 27 plus 1, which is 54 plus 1. So this one, the number came out pretty big. But what we notice is that when x value of 3 went into this function, 55 came out. So once you find the corresponding y values for these x's, and guys, when you do this on your exam, feel free to use your scientific calculator, okay? But once we find these, two order pairs, we're going to do the slope formula, okay? So let me move these down um, so that I can have more room here, and I'll do the slope formula now, okay? So the average rate of change can be calculated by subtracting the y's and putting them on top. So what are the y values here? We just found them, 55 and 3. So I'm going to do 55 minus 3 on the numerator. In the bottom of the fraction, you're going to subtract the x values. 3 minus 1. Now let's simplify this. 55 minus 3 is 52. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So this comes out to be um, 26. So the final answer to this question is 26. So remember those three steps, okay? Plug in these intervals, the, the, the numbers, the x values into the function. Once you find those x values, uh, x and y values, set it up. Use the slope formula to subtract the y's and put it on top. Subtract the x's, put it in the bottom, and lastly, you just have to simplify to get your final answer. 